Up in the ring, Kemper Kaiser is ready to introduce this event. Let's pick uh, up the ring announcer and find out. One fall, 20 minute time limit. Introducing on my right from Orlando, Florida, weighing 230 pounds, Eddie Manfield. And his opponent from Juarez, Mexico, weighing 215 pounds, Chavo Guerrero. Your referee is Eric Manheimer. Chavo Guerrero, man who carries into the ring the recognition from the Japanese Federation as the world's junior heavyweight champion by virtue of a tournament he won. Man he defeated in the final event, Kinji Kimura. And you will note that Eddie Mansfield is staring off into space here and paying very little attention to his second or anybody else a second, or do anything else. I wonder what he has found so fascinating in the audience that he is uh, seemingly not here. The referee, Eric, is giving him a lecture, and he is receiving a stare uh, a long distance stare, I might say. And the um, Chavo Guerrero has come over here to disturb his reverie and bring him back to action. And now the match has officially begun. The bell has sounded. But the man who classes himself as the continental lover is not yet prepared for action, unless you call being in that robe being prepared. So this match, one fall, it has a 20 minute time limit, and Mansfield is arguing with referee Mannheimer and being given an option that he's liable to go back to the dressing room unless he gets into this thing and gets in fast. So Chabo, who is always ready, who never has to be prodded into action, who as he is setting up his opponent, keeps a careful eye on him. Chabo is one of the brightest young wrestlers in the game. But sometimes it puts a curse on a man to call him a young wrestler. You know, it's what a man has accomplished in his career that really counts, and Chavo has been a tremendous factor in the junior heavyweight class of, of wrestling throughout the world. That sweeping leg move that time to take him over with a hip lock, and Mansfield is not pleased. So Chavo dropped out from underneath him, scissored that leg and took him down. There you see a fine picture of a leg scissor. He doesn't really need to work on that foot. He's got the knee and he's got the ankle when he's got, the, got it in there. You always try to improve a hold. When you see it hasn't done what you want it to do in the initial stages, you have two options. Work on it or change your, your attack. This is a standing leg split. And as the continental lover gets rolled over on his face here, it's liable to spoil that continental nose of his because Guerrero has good leverage. He puts the twist on the foot. The twist travels right up into the knee and beyond that up into the Sacroiliac, but now Chavo again is changing the nature of the hold. Oh, he's back again. So Mansfield gets those shoulders close, and the referee is fast and moving in. He did get a two count. 
three counts are what count, if I may coin a phrase. So the referee says submit. He gave him a one-word suggestion, command, and there was no no question about the what he meant. Neat move by Chavo Guerrero. He's a great combination of uh, real flair and solid wrestling. Mansfield says no, he is not quitting, not submitting, and the pressure comes um, from the maneuver on that knee. He's not trying to hold two legs, he's holding one, pulling in on the knee, the move against the shoulders is set in there, and Chavo landed on his feet, but Mansfield's not gonna land on his feet, he's not even gonna get to his feet. You see what happens, now here is a man who uh, makes holes as he goes. Here's a hold you see very, very seldom. It's a version of a toe hold where in which he's able to use his weight by sitting down on Mansfield's foot. He gets his arms underneath Mansfield's knee and he, um, he, he, he had an effect on it. He's got even more effect on it right now. There's the twist on the ankle. Chavo's back in business now with that leg split. So Chavo in winning recognition in Japan for as the world's champion had to win a tournament to do it. Five minutes. Five minutes have gone by. Fifteen minutes remain in this match. It's a 20 minute match. And Mansfield as he tries to fight his way out of the full pressure of the hold and, and this is the he's got to get one of those feet loose and put it to work. Chavo's bearing down on him with with the pressure and this time Ch Chavo tried to land but when he didn't he took the leg right along with him and came up with a toe hold from underneath instead of the manner in which he did it before when he landed on his feet and swung around to make a leg dive and and capture Mansfield's leg and his attention all at the same time. Now notice Chavo improving his position. Gets a knee in the back, he pulls at the chin, he pulls at the leg, almost like a bow and arrow. Similar idea, he's trying to roll him up and he may be able to force submission here where he couldn't before and he may also get those shoulders down inadvertently and, and lose the match. No, that wasn't what you thought it was. He didn't just kick him in the rear end. He was aiming that kick to land at the, on, the, on the leg. Follow up, on, fall away leg breaker. Well done by Chavo Guerrero. Inside step over toe hold now. Hold may look somewhat the same to you, but the truth is that they all hurt in different places. And yet you're working on the same general area of the body. And if you find the right combination as you switch from one change of leverage to another, then you're gonna come up with the right answer. Here's the roll and he took him over and plowed him down. Referee again shouts that word submit and calls on Mansfield to see if he wants to do it, but there was no indication. So Mansfield now for one of the few times since this match started, finds himself uh, without somebody hanging onto his, his leg. Mansfield hung up in the corner there, trying to gain some time if he can. He caught Chavo moving in that time and 
The first blow of the night was struck. But let's see what effect it has on Chavo. Chavo is concentrating on the on the leg and with good reason. Now Mansfield for the first time is able to pour something into this instead of having it poured all over him. Watch out for Chavo. He's he's looking to upset him if he can. Chavo is a thinking man's wrestler. He uses his head in that ring. He's got him up off the mat, but he's got to, there is how you can back into a good thing. There's a quick switch that time, and Chavo hit that turnbuckle and hit it extremely hard. Crotch hold, a lift, a backbreaker, and for the first time now, Chavo Guerrero finds himself in, in trouble. He's taking punishment, and the aim of uh, Eddie Mansfield is to keep punishing Chavo. Front headlock. He spins around and, ooh, neck breaker. That's a tough hole to get out of, I'll tell you. Once you're caught in it, and as you spin around, you come around there with all of the, all, all of the weight in the, in the hold. When you turn a man up so that his face is looking toward the ring lights and you drop down on the canvas, you take your weight along with his and drive it down. Now the fans start to applaud for Chavo to come alive, and he does. A cartwheeling body slam. Mansfield is down. Close. He just barely managed to get Chavo from on top of him and to, and to turn it to his own advantage. Reverse headlock. He's got his left arm along the jawbone of Chavo. Trying to pour it to him. Chavo knew the answer to that. You got to know the answer to everything. So at some time or other, you're going to find somebody who knows how to put on a grip that you don't know, and you'll have to figure it out. Outside, Chavo hits the Coliseum's cold concrete here, and the... Eddie Mansfield up in that uh, in that ring aim, being aimed at the ring post. And I mean aimed. It was Chavo's head that was set to smash into that ring post. Now, <clears throat> Chavo's outside, Eddie Mansfield on the inside started to work on that arm. And the fans are hollering for the referee to get Chavo into that ring where he belongs. And Chavo is halfway up the aisle here as he tries to block the contact with the ring post and then hit it a glancing blow and went off the ring, onto the floor, and up the aisle. He, he gets a 20 count. The referee is counting. He has reached nine. He has reached 10. Chavo is back and with every intention of getting back into that ring, if he is given the opportunity. And Mansfield knows that he slammed him into the turn into the ring post with that left arm of his, and uh, most certainly wants to continue the damage on that arm. So Chavo outside is in trouble. He wants to get in, he's getting in. You see him up, you see him ready to spring if he can. He landed and put it to good use. He hit him with his nether end that time. There's one, there's two. There was a an almost three count. I was trying to check, see whether the referee's arm had come down that time. Chavo missed 
a hard driving kick and Eddie Mansfield has the advantage as he bounces onto Chavo Guerrero. Reverse chin lock. The blow is coming up from the bottom and don't count Chavo out yet. The spin and here comes Chavo moving in to follow up on the contact with the with the ring post. He he jerked into it. He's got his, he's got his feet up uh, up on the up on the ropes. And I don't know whether he counted three or whether he was everybody in the place is telling referee Eric Wanheim what happened and the man they are down there laying down the laying down the rules to I, I'm trying to read the referee's gestures Mansfield is denying ever having made any contact and people are down around the ringside here hitting that rope telling the referee what happened then no No decision yet. Well, he has this match in limbo right now. He has not yet made a decision, but here is Mansfield who suspects that he has left the, there's one, there's two. He has, the match is continuing. Let's just uh, wash out that, that period. The bell sounding, that's for the match to continue, but it never sounded to end. Mansfield trying to bounce Chavo Guerrero through the canvas if he can. He had two good opportunities that time, but he failed to make the counts work. That clothesline chop, Mansfield on top too, and the, the count was a two, the... Mansfield is setting him up. He didn't set him up. Chavo is looking for him. He's going to try a small package. He wraps him up. He gets the shoulders down. He picks him down. And we have a win for Chavo Guerrero. The winner in 15 minutes and 48 seconds is Chavo Guerrero. So Cabo Guerrero wins the fall in this one fall battle. And we tell you that we'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio.